What's up guys, more push up more hookups.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get shredded. In one of my last videos, I ended up talking about my body, and because of that, I got tons upon tons of comments asking me how I managed to achieve a physique that looked like it was handcrafted by the gods. And I might not look as big right now since I'm wearing big clothes, but the moment I take my shirt off, boom! Look at those freaking veins. When you take a look at my body, you can see I'm diced as hell, cranked out of my mind, peeled out on my freaking tree. So it's very understandable that you guys would like to know how I managed to do that. I'm sure a lot of y'all tired of being fat, bloated, fucking disgusting piece of meat. And seeing all those comments asking me how to become a phenom and a half reminded me of the words that my parents taught me when I was a kid. Sharing is caring. Words that people like Lana Rose took very seriously. So today I'm gonna run you through my daily routine that helped me get shredded, which is definitely not a parody of the fitness industry and it's 100% legit. Let's jump right into it. So first thing in the morning, I wanna get a little bit of a pump, get the blood flowing so I can start the day with the right foot. So what we're gonna be doing is 2,222 push-ups. Oh, Aliyun, there's no way you're doing 2,222 push-ups every single morning. That's gotta be a lie. And to that I say, oh, there's no way your ugly ass came out of your mom's fucking womb. They looked at your ugly face and your parents thought, hmm, it would be a great idea to keep this ugly ass baby. No fucking way that happened, but hey, Somehow you're here. So yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna be doing 2,222 push-ups. No one less, no one more. It's gotta be exactly 2,222. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to achieve this godly Greek physique. And I know some people are gonna try to find some excuses like, oh, that's too much, I'm just a beginner, I don't have the time, maybe I'm fucking shit on maths and I can't even count to 2,222. Stupid. And yeah, that might even be true, but what can I say? Looks like you're gonna be a fucking for the rest of your life, bro. Enough of the talking now, though. Let's get to the push ups. Oh, oh damn. Whew. That was a workout. Last time I can remember sweating this much was when I got my COVID-19 test results back. For a couple of days, I was feeling very weak. I was very ill. And not gonna lie, I was really worried I had it, but thankfully they all came out negative. My health was completely fine. So it turns out that I was actually worrying about nothing. But that's besides the point. Let's concentrate on a daily routine. We're done with the 2,222 push-ups. On to the next. Now we need some fuel so we can actually get through the day. Some people will eat eggs, some people will eat toast. Well, let me tell you, those people are fucking idiots. While on the other hand, me, a person with a higher intellect, for breakfast, I will have a shake, 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 shake. But the shake I'm talking about is not your run of the mill normal shake that you find in every store. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is a very special shake. I like to call it the divine protein shake. What is the Divine Protein Shake, you may ask? That's a great question. Well, the Divine Protein Shake is essentially a viscous natural substance that's endogenously produced in human beings that have the XY gene allele. It has multiple functions, such as the feel it's fucking calm. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I know, it sounds crazy, and you must think I'm a fucking lunatic, but that's understandable until you know all the health benefits that the Divine Protein Shake will bring to your life. And yeah, I could sit down here for an hour and list down every single benefit that the Divine Protein Shake will bring, but not only that will take too long, but I also feel that the members of the semen ingesting community will do a much better job at explaining. But TLDR, the Divine Protein Shake will increase your strength. The Divine Protein Shake will make your wood bigger. No, I know a lot of you are on the edge of your seat after hearing that. Yes, the Divine Protein Shake will make your wood bigger. Bro, I swear, you will go from fucking Caillou to freaking Johnny Sins. It will be crazy. And I remember for whatever reason, for a whole week, I could not take the Vine Protein Shake. And it is to say that in those seven days, my penis has never been so small. Hopefully by now I sold you on the Divine Protein Shake. So now it's time for me to get my daily dose of it. Oh damn, looks like we don't have much left. Well, that's not a problem. Nothing that cannot be fixed. Give me one second, I'm gonna get some more. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel.
So now we have enough divine protein shake, but before we drink or eat anything, it's very essential, very important that we do our daily prayer. You may be wondering who we are gonna be sending our prayers to. Well, it can be none other than the Delft God himself. What's up guys, Derek, more place, more dates.com. So now what we're gonna do is establish a spiritual connection with the Del God himself. Let's get our arms up and let's start thinking about those juicy, big old belts. Mm. Mm. What's up guys, Derek, more place, more dates.com. Oh, you almighty Del God, I would like to thank you for all the help you've been giving me all these years. And since we're already here, I would like to ask you, what's the key to get the most out of the divine protein shake? Why have you not tried shoving it up your ass yet, bro? <laughs> That's what we're all fucking waiting on. That's the way to do this. That's what you're missing, dude. That is the key. So, 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 shoving it on my what? Um, that doesn't make any sense. You know what doesn't make sense? Why you haven't shoved it up your ass yet, bro? Why the fuck would I want to shove it up my ass? Is there any advantage to just shoving it on my ass? Why would you not shove it up your ass? Like, it's just, you know, better absorption. You're skipping first pass. You're actually not destroying it with stomach acid. Like, why would you not just shove it up your ass? Like, I don't get it, you know? Like, it's fucking obvious, right? I mean, yeah, the taste is not the best, but it gets the job done. You don't even have to taste it. It just goes right up your ass, bro. You don't even need to taste it. Well, I can just mix it with some vanilla flavoring and that's gonna get rid of the bad taste. Or you can just get like a syringe and just like fucking shove it up there and then you just skip the taste buds entirely. Sounds like the Del God has spoken and he's always right, so I'm gonna trust his word. Let's just hope for the best. It's now time for the big workout of the day. I know I said in one of my videos that you don't really need to do any workout. The only exercise you need is just doing some biceps while watching Hansi. And to be honest, I still stand by those words. But since a lot of you commenters don't seem to be able to grasp that concept, I thought I would guide you to a workout that will still get you great results. This is definitely not gonna be easy, so you better be prepared. Are you ready? Let's jump into it. It's now time for lunch. And since we're already here, I thought why not get into the basics on nutrition to get absolutely shredded. As V Shred would say, as long as it fits your daily calories, anything you eat, it's fine. It doesn't actually have to be healthy. You can eat pizza, lasagna, ice cream all day long. I mean, after all, there's nothing more fun than speed running fucking heart disease. So yeah, I can do that, but honestly, I prefer eating chicken, rice, and broccoli for those extra gains. So, chicken, rice, and broccoli, I'll you in your line. Just say you take steroids already. Those type of comments always get me slightly aggravated. Only slightly aggravated, because, you know, I don't take steroids, so I don't get roid rage. Fuck. All these people talking smack, and it's only on the internet, never in real life. Let me tell you, bro. You're not that guy. Bro, what makes you assume that I take fucking gear, bro? Just because you can't do it, it doesn't mean that I cannot. I'm literally as natural as a gym shark athlete. I'm literally as natural as a girl in LA. I'm the epitome of natural. Please tell me, what makes you think I take steroids? <laughs> ¶¶ 
But now that I'm done with a workout and eating, we have the rest of the afternoon for our personal entertainment. And for someone like me, more exercise equals entertainment. Time to do some CrossFit, baby. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I'm not that much of a fucking loser. What we're actually gonna be doing is research and data analysis. Eating and lifting are the most important parts of bodybuilding, but getting new knowledge is also very vital. So what we're gonna do right now is look at the creme de la creme, the best of the best, the pinnacle of the world of bodybuilding. We're gonna listen to the best bodybuilders of all time and see what we can learn. I got the notepad, I got the pen. Let's get right into it. Yeah, baby! Lightweight! Lightweight, baby! Man, that was some quality knowledge. Now that we're done with our daily dose of research, comes the last part of the day. It's time for the last meal, so let's get right into it. We're once again back in the kitchen and it's time for dinner. As I was saying, it's time for dinner. But not gonna lie, today I don't feel like eating even more chicken, rice, and broccoli. I wanna spice it up a bit, but the problem is, I don't really know that many recipes, man. If only I had a cookbook with many delicious low calorie recipes, man. Wait, did you by any chance mention Coach Greg's on the Bali cookbook? That's a great idea. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so looks like we have some anabolic French toast first. Let's see what's next. Okay, more anabolic French toast. The coach likes his anabolic French toast. That makes sense. Let's see what's next. Um, and uh, anabolic French toast. Understandable. Understandable. We gotta make the people understand that anabolic French toast is good. So let's see what's next. Anabolic French toast. Understandable. Uh, let's see what's next. <laughs> anabolic French toast. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure the next one will... Anabolic French toast. Yeah, no. You know what? Maybe we'll leave that book for another day. Instead, tonight we're gonna have some good old whey protein. It's really good for your muscle fiber, so why not have it for dinner? Oh, why is it on the table and not in a protein shake? Well, um, it's uh, like it's like a um, different type of a uh, whey that's like uh, exotic from like a different country, and like uh, that. That is why. That is why. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty much my daily routine that helped me get shredded. I can assure you that if you stick to this routine for a couple of months, you will be the next Mr. Olympia. I'm very much looking forward to all the comments thanking me because now you look like Saitama, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel so I can become rich and afford more steroids, I mean, uh, chicken, rice, and broccoli. Leave a like on the video, share it with your friends, and you already know. See you next time.